Alana here from teachtraffic.com and in today's video you're going to learn how to create a Google search campaign the right way without making any of the classic money wasting mistakes. And if you stick around to the end I'm going to show you a setting that you need to change once you've already created your campaign that will save you a lot of money so definitely stick around to the end okay if you like this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel because we got so many awesome videos coming your way all right let's get stuck right in i'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a google search campaign in a live google ad account okay so here we are in a live google ad account i've actually got a search campaign running at the moment but i'm going to create a new one from scratch before i show you i'm going to assume that you've already set up conversion tracking okay if you don't know what conversion tracking is essentially that's how you're going to be able to determine if the ad that you're if the ads that you're running and the traffic that you're buying from google is converting into leads and sales you need that through conversion tracking uh, and if you haven't set that up you definitely need to set that up first before you uh, proceed into creating a campaign I've got a video on that I'll put a link in the description and definitely check that out alrighty so let's go through how you're going to do this how we're going to do this today okay so I'm going to hit this I'm at a campaign level and I'm going to hit this plus button and go plus new campaign all right so this first screen is Google trying to tell me to select a goal that would make this campaign successful to me all right the trick here is that they're trying to get you to sort of um, you know, tell, tell them what, what you want however if you choose one of these kinds of settings here you're going to be limited in the settings that you have available to you when you go through when we go through this process right so I always suggest people at the time of this recording how to create a campaign without a goal guidance because that's going to give us all the available settings that we want in our disposal okay from like a bidding point of view and all this kind of stuff I'll spare you the technical aspects of it but choose this one starting out okay then we want to choose a campaign type which is a search campaign don't worry about this for now and just click continue okay and you can see here we're at step one of the four step process that we're going to go through all right so the first thing we need to give is we need to give our campaign a name you can call it whatever you want doesn't matter I like to do s for search network and then we can just say um, test campaign okay sneaky setting here watch out Google has defaulted to select the Google display network you definitely do not want the Google display network in this particular campaign so we're going to deselect that the Google display network you'll get tens of thousands of impressions and low click-through rate and whilst the display network is good and can work for various businesses you definitely don't want to mix them with your search campaign they're separate okay so we're going to deselect this and I'm actually also going to deselect search partners as well so it's just purely on google.com or .com.au wherever you're located in the world okay we can hit show more settings we can set a start and end date we don't need to do that don't worry about this don't worry about this and then add schedule we can schedule our ads to run at certain times of the day or, or days of the week so if you've got I don't know a local business like a dental practice for example then um, by all means you could add in uh, you know Mondays to Fridays and let's say you know 9 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. okay uh, Oops, all the way down here to you know whatever 6 p.m. whatever you want okay I'm not going to do that I want my ads to run continuously but if it's you know if you only want your ads to run during open hours you might want to do that okay here is where we choose our location targeting this is an important one <laughs> the default setting here is all countries states and territories no Google we don't want to advertise to the world all right so my uh, I could target Australia or once again if I have a local business right I might want to um, choose another location and be a little bit more granular or a lot more granular so I could type in uh, I could do even radius targeting so I could let's say do uh, let me just do this like a five mile radius around and I can choose a suburb in Australia so let's say do this 
So I could do a five mile radius around Bondi, for example. Obviously you don't have to do that. I could choose all of Australia this way. Or if I want to find a country, I could type in United States and I could click target this way here, okay? So um, I'll just leave it for Australia for now because that's obviously where I'm located. But this here is a little bit of a sneaky setting. So it says, and this is the default setting obviously, people in, regularly in, or who've shown interest in your target location. So for example, if I want to target Australia, but somebody in the United States has shown interest in Australia, my ad will show. Mm, sorry, Google, I don't want that. I only want people who are physically in Australia. So I choose this particular option, okay? Um, and so I'd suggest you do that. You can also exclude areas as well, just as an extra layer of security if you want, but you don't have to. So you choose whatever location targeting that you want. That's the um, language is English, that's fine. I'm not gonna do any audience segments as yet, but just to show you, you can sort of refine your audiences a bit more, but sort of beyond the scope of this video. I'm gonna select the budget to be $1, obviously, I would change this if I'm actually going to be running this campaign. and uh, But I just always when I create a campaign, I set it to be a dollar just as an extra level of security if I'm not sure I want to run it. If you've got a pretty new Google ad account that's not really getting conversions, then um, I'm going to select, I'm going to tell you to select um, a manual CPC bid strategy because the default setting here is Google's AI bidding, which is maximize conversions here. We don't want to do that just yet, Google. We may, once we've got our campaign running and we're getting leads and sales and it's got conversion data under its belt and the Google's machine learning has got a bit of an idea of who we want, then by all means we can do Google's automated bidding of, you know, um, maximize conversions or target CPA, which is actually a good one. For now, starting out, I'm going to suggest that you click this, okay, and we're going to do manual CPC bidding. And this is why we chose... Uh, at the very start of this process, a campaign without a goal guidance because we wanted this option to choose manual CPC bidding. Okay, so choose that one. And I also want to deselect this because I want to control my costs. I don't want Google to go crazy and spend too much money. Okay, so that's our bidding. Let's just have a quick check here. Conversion, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Um, we can, um, these are sort of ad extensions. I've got sort of account level ad extensions which are already added. I do have a separate video that talks about ad extensions. I'll put a link to it somewhere on this video that you can definitely check out because they're definitely worthwhile implementing. And we just click save and continue. Here is where we give our ad group a name. So I'm just gonna call it uh, challenge and our default bid, let's just make it $1, okay? And here is where we put in our keywords, okay? So here we need to think about, you know, getting in the mind of our target customer. That's, they've gone to Google, they've typed in a problem or something that they're searching for. What do we want our, um, what qu queries would we like our ads to show for? Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create a campaign sending people to this particular page, which is, a, a, you know, a course on how to create a retargeting campaign on Google and Facebook, okay? so. These are for people who are wanting to learn how to create a retargeting campaign. All right, so that's the type of keyword that I want to show for. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type in, I'm going to use phrase match type, um, create re, oopsie, retargeting campaign. I learn how to spell. <laughs> I use phrase match because I want these terms to be somewhere in the search term. If I typed this keyword in without the inverted commas, so just like this, then my ads will show for lots of unrelated things that I don't particularly want at this stage, okay? So that would be broad match type. Don't want to Google starting out. Definitely want to do phrase match. And I may even do exact match, uh, which would mean that my ad can only show for when somebody types this in as well. Okay, and you can add in um, any number of keywords that you want. A bit of a tip here, I would keep very tight keyword themed ad groups. So only put in keywords here, which are really, really tightly related to each other because you want the ad that's shown to match very closely to your keywords. Okay, so I wouldn't put this in here and then put in um, 
I don't know, YouTube ads, for example, I would keep them very, very separate. Okay, so typically I go the extreme version and do one keyword per ad group. So I have really good ad relevance. Okay, so yeah, very, very tight themed keywords here I'll just click delete this because I just want this one uh, you can see here the match types uh, is explained by Google down here okay so we click save and continue so let's just do one keyword and here is where uh, the next step we're going to create our ad so here is where we're going to put in our landing page which is where we are sending the traffic to so let's just do that Okay, and as you can see here, it's going to update my ad here. So teachtraffic.com. I can put in a display path, which will watch uh, is the URL that's displayed. So I can say uh, retar retargeting and then I can say challenge. Now, this URL doesn't have to be real or exist. It's just a way to add more keywords to my ad. Okay. So don't worry if this URL does not exist, it doesn't exist, okay? It's just a way of me telling Google, putting in my ad so it looks more targeted, okay? So this is, uh, the default setting is for a responsive search ad, which will mix and match different headlines and descriptions, okay? So we can add up to 15 different headlines of a character limit of 30 characters and up to four different descriptions and Google will mix and match the different headlines and descriptions to find the optimal variation of it. All right, so we're gonna type in a headline um, of, you know, join the four, you know, join, uh, retargeting challenge. Let's just do that one for now. And I can add in all these possible headlines and descriptions. I'm just gonna pause this video real quick and fill it in because you don't need to watch me do that, okay? So here we have, uh, I filled in, um, obviously not all possible 15 headlines, but I added four and I've done two descriptions. And as you can see here, uh, it's gonna rotate through and I can sort of flick through different variations just to see how my ad looks, okay? So there, yeah, obviously you would create an ad for uh, your own business and for what where you're sending the traffic to. And then we click save and continue. Now, Google is trying to get me to spend more money. So it's saying no traffic expected, but I can really just go ahead and publish this anyway. And um, that should be fine, okay? So here I've got my test campaign. As promised, at the end of the video, I said that I would show you how to um, you know, prevent your ads from showing for, um, for things that you don't want. So let's go to the ad group that we just created. We'll go to negative keywords and we wanna add a negative keyword. And this will prevent our ad from showing for things that we don't want. Okay, so we go add negative keyword and this might be uh, free or, um, you know, uh, bad and obviously we've got a whole list of negative keywords that we uh, possibly have that we add to campaigns okay so you got to think about what you don't want your ad to show for and add those keywords as negative keywords that Google will then go oh you know free retargeting course no I don't want my ad to show for that because I obviously am selling this course okay so just as an example so we click save and then you can see here, we've got these negative keywords that are added. And here is my search uh, um, keyword that I've created. And here is the ad that I have created. And obviously this is still under review. Okay, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a Google search campaign. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you in other videos. See ya.